Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. We're about to destroy the device that's apparently protecting Theodore, but before that, we've got a new slide. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Does Kitty Cat have a present? Thank you. I think we have enough weapon parts for something good. 435. Yeah, I can probably afford a damage increase with something. Yeah, 400. So 10% more damage on the pistol. Can't get that. I really haven't been using the sniper much. Uh, I can't afford that anyway. Well, uh, I think I'm going to increase the damage of the pistol. Fifty percent more damage. God, these are so good. I definitely go for this one first though, because it's way cheaper. Actually, wait, I could get that right now, can't I? I absolutely can. I, I'm gonna do that. Thirty percent better chance of getting a uh, critical damage when shooting an enemy's weak point. All right, you can probably do some crafting. So I need some flamethrower fuel tanks. I definitely need handgun bullets really badly. Let's do like three of that. Kind of keep like three of each of those as a base. I'll keep a bunch of those because those don't take any gunpowder to make. And now I've got very, very little gunpowder. Oh, I need to make a medical kit too. And I tend to find syringes. I'm, I'm not going to make a syringe. Alright, okay on shotgun, all that. Let's make some pistol rounds. Yeah, I'll just make as many as I can. Alright, let me see if I can spend my green goo on anything. Oh yeah, we've got almost 12,000. I think the abilities that I want next are probably toughness 4 to increase my life gauge. Or Endurance 4 to increase my stamina. And both of those cost 12,000, which I'm just a tiny, tiny bit short of. Do I have any locker keys? No, I feel like I haven't gotten them in a while. I wonder if there's enough locker keys in the entire game to open every single locker. Also, I don't think I've ever spoken with Tatiana. I don't think she says anything useful or interesting, but... You need my assistance again. I do. I could use some information, most of all. I sense that. But it's all I can sense at this juncture. What do you mean? There's something here that's making things murky for me. For everyone in here. Although there aren't many left in here to clear things up for. You're one of the last. But for how long? That's... Ominous. <laughs> Let's get you taken care of, shall we? Okay. Alright. Device. But one thing first, though. Okay, I'm good. Operating as it should. <sighs> Thank you, Father Theodore. To hear you say that, it fills me with pride. What? But she is harmless to us. 
she's not? No. I would never disobey. Of course I will. Whatever pleases you. Yukiko, can you hear me? I'm in the fabrication room. Clearances don't mean much when everyone's dead. Just... Please come and meet me here. I have something to show you. It's important. I'm sorry, Yukiko. But he demands it. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. So many high-grade weapon parts. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Wait, what? No. You're supposed to destroy it, right? <gasps> or is that not the machine? Is it further in here? Oh god, long hallway. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. It wasn't a run away from something hallway, it was an exposition hallway. What is it? I'm not totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. I was starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. Aha! I need you to clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. You didn't seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. I've been in charge of new higher evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. You're damn right I am. I assume you know Myra, too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Hopefully, you can work this all out as a family when this is all over. She's a candle monster. I don't know if we're coming back from that. I've been into Theodore's reality. 
If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true... There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey... When Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in. Shouldn't three, you get in the other room too two, before setting off the explosives? One. Yeah, that's safe. Now you're all blinded and just <coughs> cut all over the place with shrapnel. Okay, Torres. Torres, where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos, you refuse to step into the darkness, so you try to bring me to the light. Huh? Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then, I await you. You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. Here. Bottomless pit. Nice bloody splashes. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that thing? That's new. Mm, I'm gonna 
hope it doesn't see me. Think it maybe saw me? Oh Christ. Sebastian! Mm. Oh. Oh, no, 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 I saw it. What? Oh, that was odd. It kind of shows up? If you get really, 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 really close? It goes down in one hit? Uh, is it actually down? Didn't drop anything. Whoa. Alright. Well, it's obviously where I'm supposed to go, but there is stuff to pick up. So I think I'm gonna treat this like any other place. Take out every enemy, get all the supplies. Haven't had an axe in a long time. Uh. Now I wish I could use my knife so I could just wake it up. Oh. It's one of those deep sleepers. Oh, it's got another one. Handgun ammo pouch. <clears throat> Love the look of this place. that before. I'm assuming I can't just go around. No, invisible wall.
Oh, there's so many of them. Predator ability is so nice. <laughs> God, it's fragments from the house. isn't right. Fucking sh Christ. imagery of these, I don't know, I'm not sure what these are, I guess pistons or oil wells or something. Just the imagery of them just churning blood. I've almost got 20,000 green goo.
Oh, one of those. Maybe I'll try the sniper. Christ. Whoa. Trying to dodge my sniper, it looked like. Everything looks the same, so I don't know where the hell I've been and where I haven't. I see something flashing over there, though. things. Christ, there's another one.
After all this, you still want to be united with Lily? I... I do. I... I need to find her. Fine. Then come to me. Is this is the battle arena. Lily, is it really you? Lily. No. Lily. There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad. You let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No. Please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. No. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? You sh shot me, Sebastian. Why? No, no. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here. get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've, right? You've been working too working hard. Too hard. It's, making it's making you delirious. delirious. <sighs> Myra? Torres, where... I'm home. How did I... Lily's realm. Just the way it used to be. The way I wish it had stayed. collectible thing. Not sure what that's referencing. I buried 
hate myself and work so hard. If I could only get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. Letter. Myra's last communication. It was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time. But I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you from either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please, find justice for Lily and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. And now I'm so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I filled everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing... It's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing is that you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this. But I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Oh. 
what? Hothman? What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I try to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. It's time to clean house. I've just gotta find Theodore. That's not the problem. Destroying Liam's machine worked. Theodore is out there in the open now. The problem is getting to him. What do you mean? I picked this up on the exterior surveillance system cameras. Have a look. Theodore's stronghold appeared in the middle of Union. But it's surrounded by what looks like a massive wall of fire. Shit. I won't be able to get through it. I think that there may be a way. I found a device in Liam's equipment room that should be able to help. Great. Let's see it. It's not quite ready. I still have to do a few tweaks. Okay. Go do what you have to do. I remember there being a hotel near there. I'll go check if it's safe, then send you the coordinates. You can meet me there with the device. Okay, I'll see you soon. Chapter 13, Stronghold. Is that an assault rifle? I do believe that is. Make your way through the remains of Union to reach Sanctuary Hotel in the business district. A few more things, Hoffman. Theodore's been messing with my mind. Every time I see him, he uses my own nightmares against me. That sounds like him. He's a master of neuro-linguistic programming. And in here, the linguistic part becomes irrelevant. Why talk when you can get straight into your mind? He almost had me. But I searched inside myself, and there was someone there. Someone who told me what I needed to do. I know I can take him on now. Yes. I can see that you're ready. How did you... Right. The, the team, team psychologist. psychologist. Oh, aren't we just best buds? Esmeralda might have lived if she didn't try to save me. Don't feel guilty. We talked while I tried to save her. She told me about the plan. She wanted it to succeed. She made the decision to get you. She knew the risks and did what she thought was right. She said that she owed you. Owed me? For what? We just met. Esmeralda... is the operative who took Lily from your home and burned it down. She's felt guilty ever since. That's why she joined Myra. That's why she risked her life to save you. What? Don't hate her, Sebastian. She didn't have a choice at the time. And she did everything she could to make it right. I can't hate her. She sacrificed herself for the plan. She made her amends. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. I'll make sure you didn't die for nothing. I'm gonna hunt him down like the dog that he is.
This automatic weapon uses standard rifle ammunition. It packs a punch but burns through ammo quickly. I think that's the first fast-firing weapon I've gotten. Yeah, that's the first automatic weapon I've gotten. That might be extremely powerful against a boss, given the bullet cascade thing. I mean, at the moment it holds 30 rounds in a clip. That's a theoretically a bullet cascade combo of 30. That sounds really good. Alright, let's put this on... I don't use the sniper that much. I'm going to put this on 4, and then I'll put the sniper on 5, and then I'll put bottles on 6. I definitely want to upgrade it as soon as possible. Probably, well, right now. Um, I'm actually not going to drink coffee because I think I'm going to go upgrade my max health. And when you do that, it automatically restores your health. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's spend our locker key. Nice. Two explosive bolts. Get our max health up. Twelve thousand. Wow, I've got so much gel. All right, so we've got double the life gauge that we started the game with. That's maxed. I think I have enough to get the next thing I wanted, right? Yeah, that increases the stamina gauge. I could just straight up get that. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I think I got it. I think I just got the very last one. You deserve a round of applause. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did I get it? Isn't... wait. Wait, no rewards? What? Oh, the last one requires 100,000, not 90,000. Oh, I wanted those weapon parts to upgrade the assault rifle. Ah, it's all right. Some other time. Let's see what we can do with the assault rifle. Firepower is obviously the most important thing by far. Well, we can get the first firepower upgrade. Oh, um, yeah, what does it take to make ammo for it? Two? So it takes two gunpowder to make one round? I mean, it is cheaper than the handgun bullets, but still. Dang. Huh. Well, I don't see myself using the assault rifle for anything but bosses. So I'm just not going to make any ammo and see how much I just collect around. Aside from that, though, I should probably make some handgun rounds. Make a little bit of sniper rounds. I'm actually just going to use the rest of this on handgun rounds. Okay. Well, on that note, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to the hotel and see if we can secure it. <laughs>